Okay, Dolphins yeah. at the Bills. Speaking of f-ing problems, yeah. the Dolphins are two and five. The Bills are about to run away with the division. I mean, it's gotten so bad that if the Bills blow this, it will be one of the most epic collapses we've ever seen. Every other team in the division has two wins. They're six and two, and everyone else has two wins. The Bills have the chance to basically drop the hammer on the Dolphins. Six point favorite is Buffalo over under a 49. Do the Bills complete the sweep of Miami? Yes, they do. And, uh, uh, you know, when you get into Miami, and and first off, you know this, I know this, the Bills are kind of the original code crackers of this this offense. So they know how to defend it. No doubt about that. Their defense is playing as good as it's been, I feel like, since like 2020 or the year they went to the AFC championship game. There's other years where I think it was coach good, but I didn't feel like the talent was great out there and they weren't playing all that great. This year, I feel differently about it. They know they know how to play this Miami offense. And here's my other thing, too. You watch the game back of Miami last week. Of course, it was the dink and dunk fest. And I understand that. You're getting Tua back into things. You don't want him to hold the ball, take big hits, all that type of stuff. But is that really sustainable? Is that really going to win games in the NFL? I mean, th- that's what I question. Is Miami going to go into protect Tua mode and just say, oh, forget about winning the football game. We're just He's going to be healthy. I mean, that, it almost looked that way last week. Uh, it did. So I got questions about that. And dink and dunk and throw the ball 38 times or 234 yards, that ain't going to get it done either. And then when the pocket collapses and things get physical, which they didn't really last week, what is Tua going to look like? He was flinchy in the pocket with any downfield throw last week. He wanted to get it out. He didn't want to take a hit. Is that sustainable to continue to play that way and win football games? I don't think so. I think Miami's overrated. I think they got stars that are on the team just because they want to be in Miami. I think Miami's got stars on the teams just because they like stars. I don't, I don't believe in them. I don't. I think there are a bunch of names. I don't know if there's a team there. I like Buffalo to win this. Six, seven points is, is not – six points is not enough. I'm going Buffalo 34-20. Josh Allen and that offense stay hot. Three straight games were within a point. I've already plugged mine in, 34-21. So we think of this exactly the same way. Yeah, the Dolphins, look, they were so obsessed with winning in the postseason, they wanted to fast forward and gloss over what gets you to the postseason. You're not going to have to worry about losing in the playoffs this year. There was all that goofy stuff about all the clocks were set to 24 or whatever that was. Everything starts at 24 after because it's been 24 years since they won a playoff game or some shit like that. And I – I think the the deeper question is whether or not Stephen Ross will make a major change, GM and coach, even though Mike McDaniel got a new contract before the season. Will this season end badly enough that Ross just presses the button again, as we've seen him do before, and resets and pays out the buyout? It's a tax write-off. Just it's There's plenty more money where that came from if he decides that major changes are needed, and he just might. Okay. Yo, yo, homies. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it's time. The NFL season is here on Chris Sims Unbuttoned. You can hit subscribe to get all the weekly picks, plus our Sunday recaps as the games are happening. Oh, you know it. Nobody does that better than us. Thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe. Peace out. We'll see you next time on Unbuttoned.